everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. That was really weird. Today I'm doing a 2016, sort of like a year in review because I have this little memory jar that I started doing in 2013 and um, I've been doing it like every year ever since. And if you aren't familiar with memory jars, basically what you do is um, throughout the year you put all these little notes in a jar that you write to yourself basically saying like things that you did during the year um, memories that you had and stuff that you enjoyed so then at the very end of the year you can go back through and look at these and think about all the memories you've made I just thought it was a really good idea I think I did a video like this before I'm not sure if it's still on my channel or not um, but if it is I'll link it down below hopefully there's nothing too personal in here I just think it's really fun to share with you guys what I've done the past year since I haven't been keeping up with my video schedule. <laughs> Sorry about that. Well, we'll talk about that later. You guys can just see how my year went. My hair looks crazy. I just took a shower and the roots are still not dry, so I'm sorry if my hair looks wet and gross. My bad. Okay, so I'm gonna open this up and we shall start. Hopefully everything that's like fun and important and exciting was mentioned in here. If not, I have a list on my phone of some exciting things that have happened this year that might not be in there just because I don't have the time like every single day to write something for that so hopefully next year I think that's what my New Year's resolution for 2017 will be to write more of those little memory things in there because I'm kind of slacked this year so I got accepted uh, wow I got accepted to my top choice um, on December 12th of 2016 and um, I did early decision so it's actually the same school that my sister goes to I'm actually gonna be hopefully majoring in communications it's honestly probably going to change for one thing that's because everyone says and just because i'm still unsure but communications is i think what i'm doing right now or what i will be doing oh okay so we went to a football game oh i didn't even mention it's virginia tech it was my first football game it was a home game in their lane stadium it was so much fun i had a giant turkey leg oh my gosh it was awesome so can't wait for many more of those I think this was from, oh it still works, oh my gosh. I think this was from my friend Taylor's um, 4th of July party. I cannot remember, but I'm pretty sure that's what it's from. Um, oh my gosh, that was so much fun. Hey Taylor, if you're watching this, oh, that was so much fun. But anyways, yeah, so I'll link her channel down below. You've probably seen her in my videos before. So cute, forgot all about that, 4th of July. Um, recently I had a friend and his father, they passed away and it was really sad and it was really um, like out of the blue. So this was actually like a little, not like pamphlet. This is like a little handout thing with prayers and stuff that we did um, for the vigil. It was like a candlelight vigil for them. Okay. Oh, my sister graduated and um, she had her grad party. That was June 17th. So that was fun. I'm next, that's weird. I hope this isn't boring, but I always think it's so much fun seeing like what people have done over the year and stuff. I don't know. What's this? OMG. This is the Justin Bieber um, ticket that we got. Like when we went to Justin Bieber, we went to see it in Greensboro, North Carolina with my cousin Ryan and my sister Hannah and my mom and my aunt. So much fun. We love you, Justin Bieber. They were handing out these things. We never stopped believe, believing, believing in you. This was the purpose tour thing. People were handing these things out. There are some hardcore Justin Bieber fans out there. Man. Aw. We went to um, one of my sister's best friends. Her name is Krista. And we went to one of her last dance recitals as a senior. So it was kind of emotional because she'd been doing dance for a while. And it was a cute little show. Oh, I saw Nerve with my boyfriend Colin. And that was a good movie. Oh, me and Colin saw Finding Dory. Oh, so emotional. <laughs> what is this? Oh, happy Turkey Day. November 29th. Um, this was actually like a little wristband, like wristlet thing um, that we had at one of our band competitions. So it was just like one of those little wrist things that you have to wear to get in. And that was fun. I think we did pretty well. Oh, I went to um, a beach house. My friend Olivia, my other friend Olivia, Allie. That was so long ago. That was in the summer or about to be summer. I can't remember. Oh, MG. I forgot about this. My um, grandma, we call her mom mom, she came in town and visited and came to my um, band music, like parent preview thing, because we had done like a preview for our show music for like the marching band show. Um, so she came to that preview and listened to our music. 
and she met Colin. Oh, and then we got to meet our freshmen um, early instead of seeing them at band camp in August. I got section leader for the flute section for um, music because there's a music section leader. I can go into so much detail if you want like another video on this, but there's a music section leader and a um, marching section leader. So I got music, so I was like in charge and like helping with like the playing. Yeah, we got to meet our freshmen early, which we never have done in like the previous years. Um, because obviously we need to like mentor our freshmen to make sure that they know what they're doing and stuff. Oh my god! Okay, so we do superlatives at my school and we do something called um, senior social. So it's like all the seniors and we all get dressed up and we have like this kind of like a dance party, I guess. Um, it's like a dance at this random hotel that we had it at. I don't know, but it was really nice and we did superlatives. So um, I got voted most attractive and then Colin and I one cutest couple, so that was a memorable night. Is this video already 12 minutes? I still have so much in here. Merry Christmas family lunch on the 25th. We had like a family get together lunch thing. Everyone came over. It's like one thing, if you know my family, we get together a lot and we always cook and eat a ton of food. And honestly, it's great. It's just an excuse to eat, like honestly. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I saw a um, hockey game locally. I got to see it with Colin and his family. I had never been before. Don't even understand hockey, but it was wild and crazy stuff. Oh, the aquarium. I went to the aquarium, our local one. Lots of fun. That was my ticket when we went. Oh, we went on a boat trip this summer. That was so much fun. I'm gonna have to insert some pictures. I also made a video about it. Um, I had like a ton of clips and stuff that I just took over the time that we um, chartered that boat and uh, we left on the 18th of June and it was so much fun. We went up to Annapolis and St. Michael's. Where else did we go? Baltimore. Um, you guys should check out that video. It doesn't have a ton of footage, but it's enough. It was like enough to make a video. So I hope you guys enjoy that and go check it out. We have a boat now, actually. So um, that's another thing that happened this year. We actually bought our own boat. Oh, okay, so this is like one of those little, what do you even call these? They're like those shrinkadinks. I think that's what you call them. I volunteer at the local library near me. And um, one of the other teen volunteers there, um, that we were just helping out with crafts and stuff, and he made me this, so I put it in here. So at a garden near us, it's like this big garden with all these flowers, they had this little event going on where they had all these ginormous, like, Chinese lantern things and stuff. It was so beautiful. I don't know if I, I might have some pictures I could put those in. Oh, hell. <laughs> nope, not sharing that one. Ring dance, that was March 5th. I didn't even film a video for that, I should have. But that was a lot of fun. I'm excited for prom this year. Everything's stuck together. Another swimmy thing, I don't know. But Colin got first place in his 50 free for conference swim. That's nice. Saw another movie, The Choice. That was a cute little movie. Kind of cheesy, but you know. I went to this little park with my friend Mallory and Olivia. It has like a trail and stuff. It's just like a park. Oh, I helped my friend ask this guy to ring dance. That was cute. There's so much. This is taking so long. I'm so sorry. If you're still watching, props to you. Early release from school. That was February 2nd. Oh, my friend Olivia and I, we used to get dinner like every Friday after school. So that's like a little tradition that we had. Oh, okay. So on my birthday, I think, I guess it was the third. I don't know. Um, I went to my friend Olivia's house and she surprised me with a little birthday cake and candle. They were actually having like a swim party, but she invited me over anyways. <laughs> that was nice. So yeah, my birthday's on January 3rd, so I think we're gonna go out to dinner or something. I'll be turning 18 this upcoming January in 2017, so I'm excited. What's this? This is a ticket, but I don't know what this ticket was from. Oh my gosh, this was so much fun. My friend Emma and I had a combined birthday dinner. Um, at like this Japanese um, steakhouse place where they like, cook in front of you. Then all my friends came and we, they slept over. I think we should do that again, I don't know. So this was pretty much a year ago, because today I'm actually filming this, it's New Year's Eve. Um, so one year ago, um, I went to my friend Olivia's house again and we had like a little New Year's party and there was so much fun. There was lots of fun. <laughs> and I got my first New Year's Eve kiss, or a New Year's kiss, whatever. And last but not least, I went to brunch with my friend Isabel and Grace. <laughs> that was January 2nd. So that was everything in my little memory jar. Can't believe 2016 is over. I want you guys to, whoa, my hair, wow. Also, a quick thing, I forgot to mention 
like a few things that um, happened also throughout the year that I just wanted to share that weren't in there. Um, I highlighted my hair. You could probably see that in my last video. I don't know if you can tell anymore, but um, yeah, that was interesting just because I've never done any or I had never before like prior to that done anything to my hair and I was really nervous and scared. Um, but it was a lot of fun. I just thought it was just cool to like change it up, you know, and um, I'm glad I did it. Whoa. I also got some glasses and they're a little bit dirty right now. I'll put them on because I had gotten or I always have gotten so many headaches. Like just I get headaches all the time and they're horrible and um, it just stopped for a while and then it kind of came back. But then um, I got these glasses, they're so dirty, oh my god, wow, they're really dirty. But yeah, I got these glasses and I like them a lot and I usually just wear them to school like pretty much every day. But they've helped with my headaches, I still get headaches, but they've definitely helped with them I think. So yeah, I got glasses and then the final thing I have on here is that I got a job. I worked over the summer and it was my first job, it was at a local golf course. I don't remember if I said that in a video prior to this. I feel like I did, but I don't know. Really easy job, a really good first job too, so I'm happy with it. Give this video a like if you guys enjoy it and if you want to see more into my personal life. And I want you guys to comment down below if you feel like it. You don't have to, but I would like to know what you guys' favorite memory of um, 2016 was. So leave that in a comment down below. I would love to hear what you guys did and what you guys enjoyed from 2016 because I feel like I've been seeing a lot of negativity, just a lot of negative stuff about 2016, but we all know that 2016 wasn't all bad. There was definitely some good in there, so definitely let me know what was good <laughs> down below in the comments and if you want to see any specific videos from me. And I just want to say thank you for watching my video. Happy New Year. I hope everyone has a great start to 2017. I will see you guys soon. Bye.